easier in terms of understanding, uh -huh. but not easier in terms of the acting. <laughs> uh, he will give you the details of that. <laughs> Uh, because it was so comfortable for him to, 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 to get back into the role of the That's pastor. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a difference between the pastor and uh, the narrator. Okay, I can see you frowning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waiting to hear the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because the narrator, uh, and especially for the African storyteller or for the traditional storyteller, is engaging with the audience and giving them room to participate. Uh, like I, I think said before, it's where you can uh, chime in and say something. It's where you can be given a, 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 a song or whatever it is, if you're from the same community, to sing along, and so on and so forth. So you participate more actively, as opposed to where the pastor comes and gives the sermon, and you sit back and listen to it and reflect on it and go home and think about it and read again and so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, how different. And sometimes sleep in the yeah. personal <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, oh, there's that. Not, not all the time. Not but all the time, yes. but there's that. There's that. <laughs> or uh, go to your phone and uh, start. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so that's the difference. How do you engage? It's, it, the storyteller has a conversation with their audience. They're having a conversation. That for me was the thing that I, I, I kept having to remind him. Let's have a conversation with our audience. It might not, right now, it might not be as participatory as we'd love it to be, where we can get the audience coming in and giving their bit of the story. But I think that's the thing that, that we're dreaming about with time because uh, doing it at the professional center is for us just the beginning. We want to have more conversations around it. Uh, we'll probably be having more conversations about it until Easter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so yes. So, 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 yeah. Uh, it, it was easier because he understood, and actually, I learned a lot from him. Yeah. Uh, because as I was explaining to him, uh, for me, scripture, I learned through music, from singing. Oh, you knew uh, singing in a choir, so. We are singing about this particular part of the yes. scripture. Mm -hmm. We are singing about this it's part. Actually, of the... It's actually a good thing. You go, you go to my next question just before you cross over to him. Okay. That was, my, that was my next part. Yeah. You know what they say about directors? Yes. Like a proper director. Mm -hmm. as, as the person who lives the story, lives the experience. Yep. So, in a way, that for you to create a good piece, for you to direct an artist mm -hmm. to the level that you're feeling satisfied or to the point where the audience is going to see you through the eyes of the artist mm. is that in one way or another you have to leave the story you gotta feel the words you gotta feel the emotions to the point that even when the artist is presenting a piece to you you would feel a comma a full stop you as the director first mm -hmm. before presenting it to an audience how long did you spend on the on the <laughs> oh, <boss laughs> Not enough time <laughs> Not enough time. Not enough time. Hence the, the need to keep doing it. Oh, there. Hence the, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I think we've just touched the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking, I mean, there's, for me, in my head, I don't know, uh, and I, I think I've told us about this in terms of, for me, it sometimes overwhelms me in terms of what more we can do with this, mm -hmm. what more we need to do with yeah. this. Here's a storyteller who's just beginning to tell the story. But how do we get the storyteller to even engage more with the audience? How do we get the storyteller to start thinking of, I as a storyteller of Kenyan descent, how can I tell this story? How can I tell it differently? What is the rendition for me of this particular story? This is Mark of a particular culture telling his story of what he had yes. or what he was told. Yes. Now, if I was Mark in Kenya, what and how differently would I tell this story? So, so far we've played it safe, really, and uh, are telling the story from Mark's eyes and Mark of the Bible of that particular culture. But if we take it away from that context, cultural context, what does that change? What does that change? That's it, that's it. So for me, it's the possibilities are just endless. Yes. They're just endless in terms of what you can do with this. Story. That's yeah. That's I'm, I'm because uh, like, like we're saying, yes. we read the scriptures. What do they mean for us? What do they mean to us? What do they mean for my life? Uh, when I'm told a scripture or when I'm told um, a story in the Bible and they talk about the culture of a particular people, what does that translate to in my culture? What does that translate to in my culture? If they have a, uh, 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 even, even uh, I think one of the things that we went through was trying to understand, uh, when they talk about the, 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 the crockery that they use, uh, and you're trying to think, okay, what is a picture? What does that, okay, it's a jug. 
uh, what is uh so so you're asking yourself questions because you have you have to see it through their eyes so what happens when you have to see it through our eyes what will that picture be what will that crockery look like yes. and do we need to change it or can we so I, I think for me the possibilities are endless and that's what i love about theater is because who whose eyes are you seeing it through whose story are you telling whose version of the story are you telling yes. i used to love it when um, I, I had a nephew who'd just gone to uh to um kindergarten and so they were being told stories and so he'd come home and recite the story every day but the beauty of it for me i think the one thing i've taken away and this is like 30 40 years ago was how he'd finished the story and he'd say that is my end of the story. <laughs> oh, that's my, okay. that's, that's, look at what that means. <laughs> so, that's this is, my this end is of the story. <laughs> okay. So this is the That's my end of the story. Here's the thing. That's what I could tell you. Exactly. Mm. Fine. That's what I know. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I know so far. This is what I see. So as, a, as my end of the story. <laughs>